not murder her. And I don't deserve to die for this. It's time for closure for this family. We need closure. The whole entire family needs closure. Ed Knietzsche? Yes, for clemency. Calvin Prince? Yes, for clemency. Richard Miller? No. Kathy Stoker? No. Clemency is denied. That is the vote today that puts Oklahoma death row inmate Richard Glossop one step closer to being executed. I'm Shay Rossi. And I'm Sarah Whaley. Glad you're with us tonight. It is a story we have been following very closely and a case that really has gotten a lot of national attention as well. Today, the Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board once again denied clemency. You heard that to Glossop, who is set to be executed May 18th. New at 5, Fox 23's Rick Marinon is live with us in studio to break down all sides of this. And Rick, the family of the murdered man asked for the execution to move forward once and for all. And they haven't really had their side explained that much. In fact, they, they have valued their privacy for a long time. But the family of Barry Van Trees said today, Glossop's execution would help them find closure after all these years. But with what was presented today in defense of Glossop, the controversy about his case will live on long after he is either executed or even if he dies behind bars of natural causes. Even Richard Glossop says he's made mistakes, but the question for so many is, are those mistakes serious enough to warrant the death penalty? I know that in the chaos of Mr. Van Trees' death, I made mistakes in how I responded. I'm deeply sorry that in my fear and confusion, I caused anyone any further harm. Glossop's hearing before the Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board was unprecedented in many ways, especially with it being the first time an Oklahoma Attorney General asked for clemency on behalf of a death row inmate. I believe that death to be excessive, an excessive sentence for the man who did not commit this violent act. A.G. Gintner Drummond, Glossop's attorneys, and even two state lawmakers said the wrong man will be executed for the death of motel owner Barry Van Trees. Evidence was laid out about prosecutorial misconduct, destroyed evidence, newly discovered evidence never presented before both juries, and evidence and testimony about Justin Sneed, the man who said he killed Van Trees, but is serving a life sentence without parole. His testimony was the main way prosecutors convicted Glossop. But when you add this huge cloud of doubt over his guilt, to Rich Glossop's good behavior throughout his life. The idea that he must be executed for any reason becomes unsupportable. Van Trees' family feels like their tragedy has been turned into a circus and said they're sick of waiting for justice. And it's time for closure for this family. We need closure. The whole entire family needs closure. They felt they were outnumbered in a room full of people who they say have been played by Glossop, celebrities, and anti-death penalty advocates. And nothing that had been submitted before the board to any court has held up. They said they're done with what they view as legal shenanigans. Enough is enough. The time is now. I urge you, I beg you to allow justice to finally be served. While the board is usually five people, Wednesday the board split its vote two to two, meaning clemency was denied. Clemency is denied. And a last minute uh, filing has been placed before the U.S. Supreme Court as well as they are going to try other legal maneuvers. We will continue to follow this every step of the way. Now keep in mind, Glossop has had last minute and other reasons that have come up, uh, legal reasons that have come up, and they always happen very close to his execution. So even though the procedure is still scheduled, things could very easily change last minute. Live covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.